yarn of bees. <laughs> As you can see, Tia is still here. <laughs> I don't think she's ever going home. I don't know. Maybe we're treating her too good. Ah, what? Her puppy's probably missing her so much. <laughs> so, anyways, um, how's everybody doing? I'm doing great, Sandy. Thank you. <laughs> oh, so this is how it's gonna go. <laughs> happens when I get sleep. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is New Year's Eve. Whoop, whoop. Two it wasted. N uh, no. <laughs> um, I think I am almost caught up on all the videos out there. Almost. Sort of. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> I, I have some stuff to talk about scenes that we're on the eve of 2020. I have some things that I've been thinking about and uh, kind of made some decisions. So I think I have. Possibly. You know. <laughs> so anyways, I have my list, which is one of my decisions. Uh, some people are putting out their New Year's resolutions for 2020. Um, Jane from Scraptastic Yarns, I think she called it her intentions for 2020. I like that one a lot better because <laughs> it's like non-committal. <laughs> um, so for me, you know, I'm, I'm going to do the intentions thing because I can't commit to anything really. Um, I, I have good intentions. I keep saying, you know, I, I want to do this or I want to do that. And then it doesn't happen. So, um, but first I want to talk about a few other things. Crystal from Bag a Day. She showed uh, on a couple videos ago, she showed her yarn haul. And one of, like, this yarn that she showed was just amazing. But of course, me being in Canada, we can't get it. So it's the Yarn Bee Soft and Sleek DK Light 3. And it's the color is in Irish Rain and the other was Ox Blood. That was the perfect name for that yarn. The deepness of the red was so pretty, so pretty. I I just when I saw those colors, like the the Irish rain was like a greeny tealy. Oh my, it was so pretty, and I just wanted to reach through the camera and you know, or reach through my screen and grab it out of her hands. <laughs> so. Uh, I think I'm getting coffee. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's always something. <laughs> um, so anyways, it's like, I wish we had a Hobby Lobby or a Joanne's here so I could get Hobby this, Lobby. this, oh, what is that again? I know what that is. Hobby Lobby. It's like, their version of Michael's kind of like American. Yeah. American, America. <laughs> like American. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if I could get a store up here that had yarn be yarns, I would just, wow. Like I'm starting to find that like the stuff that I got gifted to me, I love it. I haven't used a lot of it cause I'm just, savoring it <laughs> but every once in a while I'll see these videos and they'll come up with these other yarn bee yarns that I'm just like drooling over this was one of them I don't normally work with a light three but for that I would make an exception <laughs> uh, I would probably end up using two book two balls together two skeins together to make it a bulkier yarn but who knows maybe not maybe not 
Um, but oh, it's just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Like, especially the ox blood. It's like, I'm oh, over the moon about it. Yeah, it's called ox blood. It was like deep, deep red. Oh, it was gorgeous. That's fitting for us. Okay. <laughs> oh, 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 sorry. Hold that thought. Did you not put hazelnut creamer in here? No. I didn't think so. I put sugar. Okay. You know, just adapt to it, okay? <laughs> There's no f <laughs> <laughs> If I can do it, you can do it. She <laughs> ruined my coffee. I didn't ruin anything. <sighs> okay, we're putting that aside for now. <clears throat> God, you're so needy. I, when it comes to my coffee, you're bougie. I yes, I am. Anyway, getting back to yarn. <laughs> um, the other one that she showed was Yarn Bee Baby Lulu. Oh, it has that halo on it that I absolutely love. And then just, whew. so again, can't get it up here. Yeah. Um, Did you settle down? Yeah. Mom's Sorry. working. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Bailey's playing with her ball. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so those yarns are in my wish list of things to hopefully get. So anyway, if my daughter ever took a trip down to the States. Uh, if someone was able to go to the States with me. I know. <laughs> You're gonna make me like go and shop for you. Yes. <laughs> yes. I don't, I don't even think my passports, I gotta check on that. But like, I'm not gonna go by myself. Oh, take a friend, take Becca, I don't know. She's got a kid. And? She's not gonna go. <laughs> it's so hard to get good help. <laughs> anyway. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, so yeah. So those are yarns that I'm hopefully, hopefully in the future I'm gonna be able to get. Okay. Resolutions for 2020. Be nicer to my kid. <laughs> what I have to put up with. Okay. Give her everything she asks for. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, there's a bunch of stuff that I want to change, right? And I, I talked a little bit about this before. I want to try and get back to the way I had my channel in the beginning, right? Um, where I was more organized and, you know, I knew exactly what I wanted to talk about. Okay, once again, my memory card died. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> moving on. Um, so that's the one thing that I want to change. Um, the other is getting everything more organized and uh, so that I don't have issues when I'm filming. <laughs> like that <laughs> so yeah okay um I would like to finish the whips that I have all those blankets that I made started making what in the summertime is still in my room underneath the desk uh, again, some of them, most of them, I can't remember what hook I used. I'm not impressed. I had all the hooks with them, but when I went to go and look for something else and I went through them, the hooks aren't there. So, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I'm avoiding it like the plague. Uh, yeah, okay, I want to start making stock for next year way earlier, I've already started actually, 
I want to start it way earlier than I did this year. And I say this every year and then I end up totally botching it. But I'm going to do it this year. Yes. Okay. Uh, what else? I want to start doing lives now that I've got my webcam. George was just bitching at me the other day about this thing. You know, I got you this webcam and you haven't even tried it. Well, in order for me to do lives, I have to be set up properly, which is not an issue or not, not an option at the moment with my foot and all this crap and, you know, him watching football and, you know, football will be over soon. Uh, you know, and he's going to be home more now because it's the winter time and he doesn't work quite as much as he does in the summer. So, but I will get there. I will get there. Uh, okay. Another thing for all you new people, all you new subscribers, uh, all you new yarnabees, um, you may not know some of the stuff that's on my channel, so I'm going to explain it a little bit now. Chaos. Chaos. <laughs> Okay, it's chaos um, down in the description box below I have a Facebook page I have an Etsy page I have um, uh, I'm affiliated with Amazon so all the things that I use and like and think that you would like are listed down below in the affiliate links and you don't pay anything extra for using my affiliate link. It just means that I get a little pittance of something, um, which I haven't even been paid for yet. So I don't know. I, maybe nobody's using the links. I don't know. But they're down below for the things that um, I think are useful, such as hooks and yarn and yarny things. And also therapy. Therapy. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I need I need therapy. Um, the setup that I have in the other room for doing tutorials and whatnot. Uh, I have like the the arm um, and the gadgets that are needed for the camera and all this stuff, and they're really not that expensive. So I have all that down below. I have um, I don't know if I have the Tominator in there or not. I should probably put that in there. But anyway, I have a whole bunch of good good stuff down there if you're interested in it. Uh, what else have I got down there? <laughs> don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I just have all, all the stuff that I, I like. Um, I have links down there for certain things for certain videos like people's links and all that stuff which in this video there will be some links when i do my shout outs um so yeah so go check out my facebook page go check out my etsy page um lots of good stuff there <laughs> i got my simply crochet magazine in the mail Ta-da! This one I am particularly interested in because it has a whole section of granny square items, which I thought was really cool. I'm not too fond of the colors, but that's okay because you can change the colors. So there's a whole bunch of really cool granny square um, patterns in here that I am so excited to try. Um, like, like these are really cute, really cute. Um, just real quick, like adorable, adorable. Um, so anyways, if you get a chance to get, oh, this is cute. I, right away I thought of Crystal from Ricola, AKA Crystal, when I saw these. These are so stinking cute. So anyways, Simply Crochet, it's uh, issue 92. Uh, 
I'm in the process of making three campfire cardigans. I've been wanting to make one for the longest time and I am finally making them. Problem, I ran out of yarn. So now I did the first one in the Huga yarn. I'm waiting for another order to come in for that. Uh, I'm gonna show you this one. Oops, and everything's falling over again. And my crochet hook is hooked into stuff that it shouldn't be. Anyway, so here is, oops, the one side, it's not, this, this side's not finished yet. Um, and it's the rust colored huga and the snow. So, um, I don't know how long it's going to take. This side is, is, almost done so uh, I'm hoping that this is gonna look really cool it's kind of got the kimono style um, sleeves so I've started that one the hook is with it and hopefully going to stay with it but it's okay because I wrote it down this one, you guys saw this in the summertime when uh, George and I went up to Kelowna to do our, um, or his Senior Games um, Dragon Boat Festival. And this was made from the Latte Cake uh, Pepper Ash, right? And so I started making that one and then I ran out of yarn. So I got both the sleeves done and the half part done, but now I've got to start doing the rest of it. So I tried to put an order in at Michael's for this pepper ash. I thought I actually got the order all squared away and then I got a phone call saying they ran out so they had to refund me my whole order so now I have to wait for that yarn once again <laughs> this one I started last night um, I wasn't too sure if these colors were gonna go together but they actually aren't too bad um, where is it here Ooh, it's all screwed up here. Okay. So what I did was I used the Huga gray for the outer part. And then this inner part is Karen Big Latte. Or Karen Big Latte. <laughs> Wrong! Karen Big Cakes. Um, the colorway is... I don't even know what the colorway is. It is Cherry Capote. So I started doing that one. Uh, but again, like I think I have enough to finish this one. <laughs> but then I had an issue. I started doing the second, oops, the second half of it. I got this much done. I figured, yay, I'm almost done this part and then I could start with the huga. Yeah. I was sitting, excuse me, I was sitting here watching Sandy from Left is Right Crochet's video and laughing along with her and everything. And then I realized I screwed this whole thing up. <laughs> I'm supposed to have six points. I have five. I'm supposed to have a point over here somewhere. <laughs> so I have five points. I have to frog the whole thing and start again. So I'm not happy with that, but whatever. First time making them, gonna screw it up. It's one point or another, right? Okay. Um, so those were my, um, my whips. Now my FOs. Take this off. I finished this over the holidays. Ah. Ow. Ow. Getting caught 
my rings are getting caught in my hair. Um, I honestly, I, I just made this one up myself. It's not a pattern of any sort. Uh, I got my little buttons here. I was always so afraid to make these because of the fold over part and now I'm kind of getting used to it. So, so that's uh, one. And it's basically just um, kind of like the granny, but the straight granny. So I made that one. And I fin I think I showed you this. I finished the shawl, the sprinkle, uh, sprinkle, um, the white sparkle shawl. I finished that. And then the 2020 challenge for the ice yarns. I don't think I got tagged in it. So I just figured, okay, well, I'm just going to start making some scarves. And uh, so I finished doing this one with the Huga yarn. And it's just basic uh, double crochet, no big deal, with the fringe. So, oop. So I, uh, I did that one. So I thought that was kind of pretty, nice and, oh, this, I love this yarn. <laughs> okay, so I did that. And then I did another, oops, bag of day cowl. Oh. Um, this one's a little bit different though. I, I tried using two different yarns with this one. Uh, can't for the life of me. I know that this is the blanket yarn. Can't remember which what this one is. I think it was a... Um, oh, I think it was a... What is it? Um, oh, it's one of those cakes. Oh man, I can't remember the name of the cake. I'll put it right here. <laughs> I'd never used it before, so. Um, so I, I did that, but it's really pretty. So I did that one. I've been busy. Then I, put, I made a hat to go with it, but I ran out of that. So I just continued it with the, the blanket yarn. And it's a slouchy. I've got my head thing on. Let's try this. There we go. <laughs> I'm having issues. So there you go. <laughs> so I made that to go with the other thing. I made another slouchy hat. Uh, this is with the Huga. I really like this one. It's so soft. Then I made this one. Uh, and I don't remember. Oh, th this is one that I just put out. This is the new Seta pattern. Said I just put out a hat and cowl set. I haven't made the cowl set or the cowl yet, but um, this is the pattern. I put it on my Facebook page and my Instagram, I think it was. So I did that one. Then I did this slouchy. This is the one that I did with the reflective yarn. So when you're when it's at night, it's going to go and it's going to just, um, the reflection on it is just amazing. So I made that one. Okay. Then I made, <laughs> um, I made this one. I put a pom pom on it. I don't want this to sound 
I'm not a huge pom-pom type person, but yeah, so I made that one. Uh, like I said, I'm, oh, there's a crochet hook in here. Oh, I wonder if this is a crochet hook that goes with that. I think it is. Oh, yes! I think I can finish my sparkle, sparkle thing now. Yay! Okay. <laughs> um, this is the the white sparkle. Ugh. The white sparkle I made, and I made a I made a hat too. But yeah. So it's just pretty plain. It's just a front post and back post kind of thing. Um, oh yeah, and that other cowl that I made, I made a hat to go with it. So, where is it? Here it is. So, yeah, I made the cowl to go with that, or the hat to go with that. I'm going through these really fast, guys. I think I showed you this one. It's another bag of day cowl. And I made this hat and I'm in the process of making a cowl to go with it. This is the Bunny Soft from Ice Yarns. This is the one that has the real halo on it that uh, Dina from Homespun Fun was having a problem with. It, it can be tricky to use, I'm not gonna lie. And then I saw everybody this season getting little um, stockings and I had to make one. I thought it was so cute. So I just, I, I made it out of the um, Huga yarn and I think I'm going to try and make a bunch of them so that I have them for next year. So that is my whips and foes. Okay, now, um, I got a Happy Mail. I'm not going to do a whole video, Happy Mail video for this because I only got the one thing. And this is from Veronica from, ugh, look at my hair, uh, from Vero's Crochet. Thank you. Uh, yours, your box is still here. I am still waiting for your hubby's gift to arrive. I didn't realize it when I ordered it that it was coming from Asia and we all know what that's about. You know, it's like it takes forever. So I will be getting it out to you as soon as I get that, sweetie. I am so sorry. I was not expecting it to take this long. I'm really not happy about it. So, oh, this is pretty. Look at this. Oh, is it blown out? Now we're going to look at that card. It's so pretty. Oh, what's this? Okay, she wrote something in a different language that I have. <laughs> it says, always smile. I'm not even going to pretend that I can say that. <laughs> it says, wishing you and your family a very Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. Here, Here's to 2020 being amazing. Yes, definitely. Oh, is this, oh, is this her stitch markers? She's been making some amazing stitch markers. Oh, it is. Oh, look. Oh, you. Oh, with me in mind. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, gosh. Are you going to be able to see this? Oh, can you see it? Is that not amazing? I love it. Ah, I wish you could. Oh, yep, yeah, maybe. Oh, the lighting in here is terrible right now. I'm not using my cam, my um, um, ring light. Oh, she puts crystals on these, and it's so pretty. Oh, stunning! 
absolutely stunning. See how that those crystals just shine? Oh, thank you so, so much, Veronica. I love you. Mwah. I love you to bits. Um, oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> I've been looking at her stitch markers that she's been doing and oh she's she's so amazing like she's so crafty and girl after my own heart um so that's going to be going up in my other room okay so I think I got through this without my camera dying on me again thank goodness now Tia and I are on our way out to go and get that um memory card and yeah oh get my hair back up there we go so thank you guys so much for watching thank you to all my new subscribers you guys are amazing um and i don't know when i'm going to be getting back on Ugh, my hair i need a haircut like so bad um yeah so maybe when i hopefully get these cardies done I will show them to you in my next video. Okay, so I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And if you haven't hit the like and the notification button, do that. And go check out my, my web page and my, or my uh, Facebook page and my Etsy page. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. A few minutes later. Hi again. So, <laughs> so I thought, I look like a hot mess here. So I thought I would share our little adventure going out. Yeah. <laughs> um, I fell. Yay, me! Uh, yeah, we were leaving the house and I went to go hop down the stairs and there was puddles on the stairs <laughs> and uh, Tia kind of tilted one way and I went back with her and I planted my foot, my wrong foot on the ground and I went ah! and I pulled my foot up and I fell on my ass on the cement and it was bad scene, yeah bad scene. That is the second time this week that I have almost fallen or well the last time was in the kitchen. I went to grab something and I uh, I went and tilted backwards and almost fell off my scooter and instantly like just reaction is to put your foot down and plant yourself so you don't fall. Yeah. Um I cried. <laughs> it hurt really bad. This time, yeah, I and I had to crawl up the stairs to get back in the house and trying to get me up off the ground was fun. And George had to come home and help me. I had to come in. I had to ice my foot because my foot instantly went poof. And so I had to come in and ice my foot and then George came home and helped me get back down the stairs so that we could go out. <sighs> Such is life, right? So goes the life of Sandy and her foot. Speaking of my foot, it does, well, it's really swollen right now because of what happened. But um, it's actually looking a lot better than it has been. Um, this, but the skin on my foot, like on the top of my foot between the scars, peeled off like a snake skin. So like where it was all, it looked all um, like, I don't know, wrinkly and stuff like that. Yeah, it, it all came off. So it's all new skin there. But anyway, <clears throat> um, I'll show you. Yeah. So here we go. It's looking a lot better. Um, the scar is actually starting to heal. 
really good. Except I have this indent right here. I don't know. <clears throat> but this is all swollen right now because of what I did. And it's really purple. Like you can see the difference in my foot right now. Before it was like it looked really good. The swelling was all gone. Or it got at least down quite a bit. But now it's all purple again. You can see the color difference from here. Um, yeah. So I'm really hoping I didn't really damage anything by what I did. I can't believe how swollen that got. Like, like instantly. Ugh. So the real kicker to all of this was... I probably didn't even have to go out and get an SD card because I remembered that I think I can do videos on my new webcam. So that was all for not. So live and learn, right? <clears throat> but uh, yeah, so I'm going to put my foot up now and. Uh, upload and edit this video <laughs> I might have to take a painkiller you know um, yeah so there it is that's what's happening with me and my foot yay uh, <clears throat> but it is it is doing a lot better or it was anyway so <laughs> anyways okay guys so I will talk to you later okay <laughs> bye <laughs>